My name is Rico, the Dungeon Master for Season 3, The Restoration of the Twelve Olympians. This season, we'll find our heroes traveling back to the lands of Eris and Enyo with Inharmonia as they adventure through and see what they have accomplished and completed by restoring the three fabled relics, the Sickle of Kronos, the Golden Apple of Discord, and the Robe and Necklace of Harmonia. We'll start with Deborah. I am Deborah, and I am playing a human rogue named Neith. Her name is Neith. And I'm Matt, playing a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. And I'm Daphne, and I play Gilsira Venfire, who is a halfling druid. And my name is Rico. I am the dungeon master for season three of the campaign. Do you want a Rico's recap of the last episode so we don't have to replay that hours session? Yes. It starts with Matt being a piece of shit who <laughs> apparently didn't hit record. I got the pre-roll. Wow. <laughs> Just incredible. It was us versus Matt, and Matt won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you won or lost. or I think we just all lost <laughs> in that session. Nobody was a winner. Matt, Nobody Matt was, was a winner. the villain. <laughs> <laughs> he was 100% the villain. Next time, will you just listen to your wife? No. And your friends. Why not? No. <laughs> Yeah, and your friends. Your friends were all like, let's just do this. And you were like, oh, we got to play. And play we did. We did. We did play. You guys, And were it was you who messed up. You guys were still in Therium. You had rested at the inn. You went to the north side of town, which is the Zeus side of town. You actually got to talk to and hang out with Zeus in his noodle house. And the noodles were good. The noodles mm-hmm. were good. They were ex- excellent. Yep. Divine, oh, yeah, it's even. All coming back. It inspired me to make ramen the next day. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you made an appointment with the governess's secretary in the Temple of Hades. You made an appointment for dinner, 6 p.m. ish, a dinner date with the governess. After that, you made an appointment with the governor. For 10 p.m. in the Temple to Zeus. So you have dinner with the governess. You have dessert with the governor. Wait a minute. I thought those were flippity flopped. I thought the governess was on Zeus's side and the governor was on. Governess is on Hades' side. Did you see my shirt? Oh, what's up, my guy? He's my hero. And the (laughs) governor is on Zeus's side. (laughs) The secretaries were named... Nichols and Nicole. Psychological abuse. And you were told under no circumstances should you be late because if you were late, the appointment would not be kept. At either one? At either one. Ugh, gross. Remember, you do have that bottle of booze that you bought from the noodle house for the governess. Who did? I did? Yep. I'm so sad nobody gets to hear that episode. Well, that was that was bought like the first day you guys came. No, to I'm Darien. just saying engine. Oh yeah, it was a pretty Focus. good episode. It's a good episode for governess. Even though Matt could not figure out the difference between a governor and a governess, I don't see gender. <laughs> Unreal. Even though it was explicitly told to you, okay. This is a progressive podcast. <laughs> I don't know if you, I keep reminding you it's wild. And really, it was just a lot of um, when somebody introduces themselves as a governor or a governess. Based. That is what I will use. Based, Deborah. Based. That's really all it was, was you guys making appointments, eating some noodles, hanging out with Zeus. It sounds like we had a great time. You guys had a fantastic time. I remember time. there I... was some aura checking. Yep. To find you... out that Zeus was that Zeus, Zeus was in the noodle house, yep. I remember being in the- And Hades was around in the temp- In yeah. the temples. Yeah, Hades, yeah, Hades was around also. Yep. Hades is in oh, his noodle Oh, and the noodles house. tasted awful. Yeah. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. like best. two episodes ago. Though. We just kept eating them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I was. Oh, and I remember. Did, did you talk about how we were in the inn and then so we were try, trying to find Nick Nichols? Yeah. And then and Deborah was waiting upstairs mm-hmm. for them to come out of their room and had passed them. 
I was, and you guys were chasing I was giving, them outside. I was given false correct instruction. information. Yeah. yeah, and I gave wow. ch- and I gave chase, but I grabbed the food. That was that was fun. Those were good times. So where are we at? Where are we? Getting ready to have your six o'clock appointment with the governess right now. Do we have to like go there? Yes. She's ex- she's expecting us. No. All right. Sweet. I want to be aware. Do we need to go get cleaned up? What time is it? Oh yeah. We- you have plenty of time to bathe and get ready Wait. for dinner. We were is taking like baths, a- weren't we? Is there a bath at the inn? Oh yeah, we yeah. did yeah. take a bath. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. We got warm baths. Well, hot baths with um, oils and scented mm-hmm. stuff in the baths. Yep. So we should be pretty clean. I mean, minus the, maybe we smell a little bit like noodles, <laughs> a little dust from the road, but overall, we should be pretty good. Are our garments clean? Is yeah. there a way we can? Your garments are clean. Dope. Okay. We're, we're presentable. Yeah, you're presentable. Okay. Dope. If we have time, presentable. we might as well check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do I smell good? Yes. Nice. You do. You didn't mention wanting to take a bath, but you were super drunk, so we're going to presume that <laughs> oh. you wanted to take I, a bath. I'd want to now if, if I didn't before. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I am I am Ari. I feel like I need a bath. <laughs> you took a shower today. No, I Matt did, but Ari feels like he needs a bath. <laughs> it's a dragonborn. He just always wants to bath, probably. I took a shower this morning. As it he gets more civilized. so good. It was the best shower I'd had all day. I like a good shower. I took a shower too, and I used a shower bomb for the first time. Oh, how was What's that? What's a shower bomb? <laughs> yeah, they make shower bombs. I know about oh, yeah. bath bombs. Mm-hmm. What's a shower bomb? So I, like, I assume bath bomb is half the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> like you put it on the for the bathtub, and then the steam like causes it to disintegrate, and then it steams up. Yeah, I like, make, a, like make, a scent or like a color. A scent. Oh, okay. It makes a whole right, house. Right. It makes a whole house smell. Do you so, put it over the drain. What smell did mm-hmm. you have? I don't know. I don't know what it was called, but it was it was blue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can um, you describe the smell with your descriptive words? Channel channel your inner <laughs> author. <laughs> Fill space. Um, like you've got a five hundred word essay to write. Mm, ima- imagine like. Um, no, I don't know. I can't really describe it. <laughs> oh, my. Anyway, we're on Zeus's side, right? Yeah. <laughs> Currently, yes. Because um, you guys stayed at Zeus's Inn because it was really, really nice where I, the hot water came up through pipes. and the food Look is around. Good, do people like bad. seem happy or do they seem like they're being secretive? Are you inside or do they seem... still? Yeah, you, you're all still in it. No, everybody seems incredibly happy. Everybody seems incredibly happy on both sides of their respective towns of Therium. Nobody seems distraught or angered or upset or saddened. This is everybody is incredibly happy on their respective sides of town. Nobody seems too worried about the boar, <laughs> though, even remotely. No one is worried about the boar. Which is contradictory to what you were told about the boar eating children. Yeah, because... Do I see any children? No, you do not see any children. Hmm. But this is the inn, so... Oh, sorry. I I, I guess I had it in my head that we were still outside. Outside from where... Wait a minute. Where are we? (laughs) (laughs) You're in the inn, in your room... Finishing up your bath because that is exactly where we left off was everybody taking their baths. Oh, okay. Do we have individual bathrooms for ba- bathing? Yes, no. everybody has their own room. But for wait, did they bring in like bathing tubs into the room? There were tubs already in the room. Oh, okay. It's a dope ass. And, and they, place. And they were, hey, this was a few weeks ago. Okay, <laughs> we're we're all still getting back on. It's like twenty one, twenty two. I I cast Goodberry while I'm in the bath, and I just start eating them out of my between my fingers, <laughs> like like. <laughs> 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 Most blatant abuse of magic ever. <laughs> Dope. I'm gonna snack. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <You're tipping. laughs> I have made sure my door is locked. Hedonist on my mm-hmm. room, and so I've taken my bath. So I, I'm I've gotten out of the bath and I've dried myself off and made my made myself presentable, and then I kind of like walk. Is he's naked? Hot. <laughs> Wicked hot. Not very presentable naked. Wait. Is Jelly naked? Also hot. 
<laughs> is Ari naked? Awesome. Is Electo naked? Yes. Oh, super hot. If we're just finishing up the bath, yeah. We bathe together. Oh, well, I probably love the party's all naked. Is it's there like so a, like, there's like a common room downstairs, right? Yeah, there's the dining room. All right, I, I would like go to go down the to the- spells. I, I'm, I'm, I'm dressed. Some, oh, some I was going to hope you were going to walk fun. down next. <laughs> no, I am dressed. Bits. I've like combed my hair and done all done all the things, all you the smell grooming good things. too. Nice. Oh, I don't like smelling like anything. Mm. Um, well, then why did you get oils in your bath? Yeah, why? I don't remember asking for oils. I don't <laughs> they think they would have They were offered to asked. you. They were offered to well, you and you I'm said going yes. to take your word for that because- <laughs> That's Play smart. It back. Oh. smart. Oh, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would like to go down to the common room. I'm going to order a mug of ale because that's what people do, right? He doesn't give you ale. He gives you jasmine tea with mint leaves. Even better. Leaves. Although I still look at him weird. I'm like, isn't this a good? Oh, whatever. Um, how much do I owe him? Nothing. Cool. And I go and sit down like I try to sit where I'm like unobtrusive or I can still hear people talking. Okay. And I'm I'm just kind of like sitting and listening and seeing what I, I hear. There is nothing of import in any conversation. It is random conversation that people are having about the work on the temples that's gonna be taking place soon. The weaponsmith on Zeus's side. Fighting with the weaponsmith on Hades' side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was us. The noodle house possibly getting a new recipe next season. I remember season. that. That was hilarious. They they were fantastic. Um, the, no mention of the boar. Um, nobody looks sad. No parents look like they're grieving over lost children or anything of that nature. It's uh, just random white noise. There's... You're not going to find, you're not going to get any, in, because when you've been in this town of Ethereum, there's only one point in time that anybody has even talked about the boar, and that was in the Noodle House uh, on Hades' side of town. And they said they weren't concerned about it because people dying to the boar was just more souls for Hades. Mm -hmm. But nobody on Zeus's side is talking about it. It is pretty boring conversation. Hey. I get dressed. Boring conversation anyway. <laughs> boring. <laughs> Um, Get it? Star Wars. Or, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's good. That's solid. Solid joke. I get dressed. And is there, is there a window in my room? There is. I wake up the window. And you see the street. The You can see the dark onyx path of Hades' side is very different from the white marble side of Zeus's street. You can see a very sharp contrast of the light and the dark in Therium. These gods love their aesthetics. Yep, they do. In the background behind the mansions, you can see a mountainous range. The sun is coming down over on the Zeus side of the mountains. And as the sun is coming down, then the moon is coming up over the Hades side. It's a hey. beautiful waxing crescent. So simultaneously, as one is going down, the other is coming up. Nice. Hey. So it is. It you can tell there is going to be a transition into what is soon to be evening. Mm. I'm like, well, I better make my way downstairs. Come on, Cedric, let's go. Cedric hops on your shoulder. Then I I go downstairs. And you see Neith sitting there drinking a cup of tea. I'm like, oh, hey, Neith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry, Neith. <laughs> Um, so I go up to the bartender. Hey, Jelly. Hey. Um, what, what, what are you drinking? Um, weirdly enough, I asked for ale, mm. but I got this lovely tea. Um, I, I asked the bartender, I'm like, can I, can I drink what she's drinking? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And the bartender <laughs> produces you a it's really up to her tankard of butterscotch flavored ale nice. with nice frothy mm. bubbles <laughs> coming over the side. It smells sweet like <laughs> butterscotch and he honey. Up the first time, maybe. <laughs> and if it'd be like, this is an ale, he'd be like, oh shit. And mm, offers whoops. it to you and says, enjoy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I. I give him a gold piece, even though he's he didn't charge me. He just yeah, it's definitely like leaves you know, it there. Two coppers, you psycho. <laughs> he leaves it there on the on the table. I'm like, can you, you want to trade drinks? Um, no, I mean, I was just trying to blend in by buying what I thought people bought 
in these kind of place establishments. Tea is really good. The mint and the lavender are crushed up what? nicely. You get the taste of the lavender and the smell from the mint as the hot steam washes across your nostrils. It is really good tea. It is the perfect temperature. Does it get Do a drop? I no. taste anything that shouldn't be in there. You any, taste like, hot water. Poison. <laughs> and, Am I about to be poisoned? Nope, and <laughs> lavender and mint. And there's even a little a little tin of honey that you could pour it in nice. if you were so inclined. Ooh. Does the, does anything look weird with the honey? <laughs> yes. It looks like natural raw honey. The best. Not like the processed honey you see in the golden bears, but like the darker natural. Yeah, not at the grocery store in, in Ethereum. So, Farmer's market. And I, so I look Farmer's at Gelsira and I'm like, Gay, uh, hey, Gelsira. Hey, Gelsira. Gay, Gelsira. You are now Gay Sira. <laughs> Gay Gelsira. Let's Gay go. Gay Gelsira. <laughs> <laughs> If I fall over, will you avenge me? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. I drink my tea. It is not poisonous. <laughs> it is the most perfect cup of tea that you have ever had. You hadn't been drinking it? The only time you would get a better cup of tea than this is if you were at the plum tree uh, in the Elysian Fields. Oh. You know, this kind of reminds me of the, of, you know, being at the Elysian Fields. Was it plum fields? or pears? Plum. 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 It was plum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thought I remembered that correctly. Hmm. I wonder, you know what? I wonder what the butter, this ale is like. And I start drinking the ale. The ale is rich and creamy and cold. Mm. The head of the ale is kind of effervescent, like sparkling water. And butterscotch covers the entirety of your tongue. And as it goes down your throat, there is a taste of honey on the back of your tongue. What is everyone else drinking? Mugs of ale. Cups of tea. <laughs> but it's, but it's like there's like a variety of drinks uh -huh. yeah. out there. Yeah. Some are drinking mead. Some are drinking out of drinking horns. And some they all look really happy. Yeah, everybody looks perfectly content. So this place is the best. Have I seen any like beggars or like poor or blind people or like You have something not seen the... anybody disheveled. You have not seen anybody that was poor. You have not seen any homeless. Also, you have not seen any houses where these people would live. You have seen the <laughs> temple, the stable, the weapon shop, the noodle house, and the inn. And then the governor and governess's mansion. Galsaira? Neef, are you okay? You look, like, look kind of concerned. So, I've just realized something. What did you realize? Doesn't it kind of feel like this place might be a little too perfect? You know how I just said it kind of felt like the Elysian Fields drinking this tea? Yeah, it's, it's really, yeah, this is a really great ale. I feel like I could be yeah. there, too. I've noticed there are no children. There are no poor. Everybody just seems, like, really super happy. Oh, yeah, it's a great, yeah, it's a great town. Both of you, Delsira and Neith, make an insight roll, please. Sweet, sweet. Sorry, Perception. I, I said perception. I'm, perception. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Eighteen. Eighteen. Both of you notice as she's bringing this up and having this conversation. You notice that some of the walls begin to crack and splinter very slightly. You notice some paint begins to peel off the uh, wall behind where the bartender or um, stands and serves what? drinks. Neve, do you see that? I do. Um, Maybe things aren't as perfect in perfect world. Hmm. Well, um, can I? I would like to walk closer to one of the areas that I see kind of cracking. I'm assuming sure. it's like at the top of the wall, yeah. kind of see. But I like to go closer and like look closer. And if I can reach any of it or get Make near it, Arcana, it kind of poke at. Oh, Arcana! We know I'm great at Arcana. Arcana, Arcana. That was Zelda. <laughs> that was Ocarina. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh, I'm proficient in Arcana. Ooh, I rolled an eighteen. You can see. So, yeah, 21. Little sparkles and glints and catch out of the corner of your eye, like a little shimmer. Like this side or this room that you're in appears to be heavily magicked. Dope. I mean, the holodeck. <laughs> yes. Um, Gelsira, have you heard anything from Ari? Last I, I don't know. Last I heard from Ari, he, I think he went up to his room. Okay, I'd really like to get some like fresh air. <laughs> I'm feeling. Not great in here. Okay, well, I'll go get Ari. 
Okay, I, I go and set my tea down on the, the bar area or whatever. Okay. And I go outside and I look at, I want to look at the wall of the outside of the building. Looks just fine. Hmm. Looks like you did when you went in. And I poke the wall. <laughs> With what? My finger. And your finger hits a hard wall made out of white marble. Mm. But then there is a slight, I don't know how to describe this in words. You know when you dip your fingertip in water and ripples come out in a circle mm-hmm. around your fingertip and it's just one circle after another? You see little circular ripples come out from your fingertip over the wall of the inn. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Neath is now officially freaked. Hmm. You guys should solve this before I come down. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any plants in the inn? Not a single one. No potted plants, no pots for plants, no hanging vines, no grape vines. No pot. I go outside and I kind of look around and I check to see if there are any plants, any vegetation at all in this city that I can see. There are not. Hmm. Need Need to not a come single out, natural plant anywhere on either side of the town or the road. Not even cracks in between the marble and onyx blocks that make up the roads. Neef, you know what? I just noticed there are no plants around here. You just Any, noticed a, that? A, anywhere, like no vegetation. Oh, you're right. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense that I want to notice that. You haven't seen any plants since you watched through, walked through the arches of Therium. Hmm. I mean, when was the last time you saw a plant? I mean, outside the city. Oh, oh, but none in the city, which is weird. I mean, things. I mean, still be... really, the city's like one road. It is. Well, it's one road that splits into two. You know, you're right. Where does everybody live? I mean, maybe they live in the okay. mansion. I don't know. Hold on, watch this, and then I poke the building again. <laughs> Give me an Arcana roll. Ooh. So eighteen plus my proficiency bonus, twenty-three. You also see the ripples that echo out from her fingertip oh, across so cool. the wall of the building. <laughs> Rico, this is really cool. Is it? I'm really excited. Neith is freaked out, but I'm really excited. So I kind of like get really serious from it. I'm like, Neith, this something really, we're not in a real place. Okay, let's go get Ariana and let And go. as you say that, oh, you hear cracking in the walls of the inn, and you can see deep, sharp, jagged cracks that go up from the ground to oh, the roof of no. the inn. I can start yelling, Ari! (laughs) You can see the sparkle and glimmers, um, rainbow and gold and silver. You can see magic oozing out of the walls of the inn. Ari, fly out of the building! (laughs) Electo, fly out of the building. Do not go down the stairs. Just fly out a window somewhere. Do I hear her (laughs) screaming? How loud are you screaming? Are you screaming loud? I'm trying to. Yeah, you can hear. You can hear her. <laughs> okay, I grab Electo's hand and we f- fly towards the window. Are you dressed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been down there for a while. I don't know what they the could have gotten dressed. Yeah. Like. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, you and Electo fly, fly out, out the, the window. window, and then we fly up and look down and see if something crazy is going on. Do you see an inn made out of white marble? <laughs> the window that you flew out of. I like. And you see the she mountains the behind the down. mansions with the sun setting and simultaneously the moon rising. Do I see Neath and Jelly? You do. Yeah, they're down on the ground. Okay. Let's let's go. My do car. you have eyes? Can you look down? Yes. Congrats. You see them. Okay. <laughs> am I uh, Ari? Electo. What I'm doing. I, I take Electo and we go down to see Neath and Jelly. And I'm like, what's what? What? Ari, what? I have a question for Why you. Why did I have to fly out a window? <laughs> While you were up there, it's did you crazy. see any houses? I don't know. No, I didn't, didn't see, any, see houses. any houses. Did you see any, you know, places where all of these people would live? Was I supposed to be looking for that? I'm just saying, you were up there <laughs> in the air looking around. I saw you. All right, no. Um, okay, watch I don't this. Know, maybe they live in the mountains. Watch this, and I poked the wall again. <laughs> Make an arcana roll, Matt. <laughs> it's an intelligence based. 18. You see circles ripple out from where she pointed. Looks like ripples in water go across the entire length of the building. What's uh, what's that about? Why is it doing that? Um, we also saw cracking happening inside the building. Have you noticed that the city is literally one road? 
Yeah, I mean, we've been here. Gelsire also noticed there are no plants. That There's is weird. no children. There's a single no child. Everybody seems very happy, but there's no like none of the people you would expect in a city. Like there's no beggars on the corner. There's nobody disheveled. Like nobody's mad at anybody. Like where's the boar supposed to be? Out, outside the city. Outside the city. Well, the city ain't that ain't, ain't much to the city. So man, and let's just go find the boar. And, and <laughs> nobody in the city seems concerned about the boar. Well, that's not my concern, right? Like we have to, we have a thing to do regardless of whether the boar is being I just, bad. I just think mm-hmm. we now have some questions. It's just a boar. For the governor I mean, and governess, super bore, but still, yeah, she has she has some answering. Okay, you well, I mean, too. what time is it now? Is it I time? mean, it's probably about time, right? It's about time. Hell yeah, let's go well, on over. It, well, let's just head on up. Let's just let's make an appointment anyway. Let's. Okay, let's I just make double check to, to make sure my daggers and stuff are all loose. Yeah, everything's all still there. All right, you, you have the <laughs> you have the drink, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I grab my shit. Okay, all of your personal effects are all there. Their things happen to them. They're all still there. They're okay. secured as tight or as loose as you want them to be. Gotta fly out a window. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys walk south to the other side of the road. And you make your way east to the governess's mansion. Hello. Hello. And standing out in the front of the door of the governess's mansion is... Her secretary, gentleman that you saw in the Temple of Hades. Oh, hey, hey, Nichols. And he says, ah, good evening. I see you're here for your appointment. Heck yeah. Yep, I hope we're on time. Absolutely. We're not late. Nope. Nailed it. Not in the slightest. And then Nichols backs into the door and opens it and then bows and allows you four to walk into the governess's mansion. Dope. As you walk into the governess's mansion... You are delighted by the sound of running water. Looks like there is a makeshift waterfall right in front of you. There is a little water rock garden and a little standing pool. Uh, to the either side are steps that go that circle and go up. These, uh, the entrance of this mansion is not dissimilar to Eris's mansion how it had the winding steps that go up and she had the golden apple and then the pool of fuck ambrosia god i forgot what that Hell was yeah the pool <laughs> the pool of fuck and, pool of but fuck this ambrosia. Has, um running water it looks like a waterfall with the little rock garden there's lily pads there's frogs jumping from lily pad to lily pad there are koi fish swimming within and the governess is at the top of the steps, and she says, Welcome to my humble abode. Was Please join me for dinner. Hi, Angelica. Do we know if she's a bastard? Have you I checked? Mean, you could, you... I know someone checked something at some point last time, but I wasn't clear we in my notes. We haven't seen the governess yet, so there's no way we could oh, have known. Uh, Hera's embrace. She is. <laughs> she has a bright purple aura. Not dissimilar to your own auras. Are you going to let us know that? I uh, I nudge the other two <laughs> and like wink at them. I hear his embrace. And she has a bright purple aura. Not dissimilar to <laughs> your guys' auras. I'm like, I'm like Ari, what did you drop? She, <laughs> she does read as a bastard. <laughs> Ari, is get, your eye okay? Yeah. Like, I keep winking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I think I understand. (laughs) It's the drink, isn't it? Yes. (laughs) It's the drink. Okay. All right. Let's make sure we have it ready. It's like a warm hug. (laughs) Warm hug. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's let's hug her when we see her. (laughs) Dining room is upstairs. Uh, Please feel free to join me upstairs in the dining room. Cool. We have an amazing dinner planned. As we go upstairs and we enter, I'm looking around for servants. You don't see any. Hmm. The drink I have is for her, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Governess, I have a drink for I have a I have a bottle for you. Oh, we'll open it at the table. Dope. Thank you. You're welcome. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> <laughs> the Noodle House. The Noodle House. Oh, they have my favorite drink. I heard of that. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, this is going to be a the best dinner I've had in a long time. Well, that, okay. I look forward to it. And there is a long hallway 
there are no doors or rooms to the left or right of you guys as you walk down the hallway to the dining room. Wow. Which opens to a large cherry table, cherry wood table. There are one, two, three, four, six chairs. There are um, three on one side, two on the other, and then her chair at the head of the table. And on the table is bread and cheese. There is a big, huge silver-covered dish. It smells like it could be boar. You are pretty <laughs> certain it's boar. Hmm. And she asked everybody to please take a seat. The Arabian boar? I, 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 I grab a chair. Does it ripple? No. All right. I, I pull a chair out and sit down. Nice. Correct. I pull a chair out for Electo. She sits first. And then I sit down. Nice. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Switch. I Obi. also sit, but as I'm doing it, I'm like looking around at like the tops of the walls and like trying to be observant for any of the phenomena that I have seen today. You're getting a lot of the same phenomena that you saw at the inn on the side of town. Can I see shit cracking? Is shit cracking? Is Ari on the opposite side of the table of me or next to me? Where did you guys sit? There was three chairs on one side, two on the other. I would have sat next to Gelsira. Then you were sitting on the side of the table with two chairs. Okay. And I'm sitting on the side of the table with Electo. So I try to get like, make get eye contact with Ari. And I try to like, with my eyes, like look up to the top of the walls. I look at the walls. Not nonchalantly. <laughs> <laughs> you see little miniature cracks in the wall and peeling paint as it peels upward. What's up with those cracks? <gasps> Ari! <laughs> and then she looks around. She's like, what cracks? She's looking at her walls of her mansion. To her, everything looks just fine. There's like, there's cracks and, <laughs> and stuff happening. It looks kind of magical. Are we under attack? Ar- Ari, I am so, so sorry. We have had I don't a think long so. journey. And yeah. obviously our friend here... <laughs> Should have gotten more rest than he did before we came to dinner. We greatly apologize. That's that's okay. I lean the over walls to Electo. Everything looked fine to me. I lean over to Electo and I go, "Are you seeing these cracks? Is am I crazy?" No, you're not crazy. This entire building is glamored. What does that mean? What does glamored mean? It's fake. <laughs> it's magic. Should is is she fake? And then she looks, and then she looks at you, and she says, "Look closely." I look closely at the, it's a, she's a bastard, so like how could she be fake? But I look closely at her. And you can see Squint. little peels in the color of her cheeks, and it looks like there are little tiny flakes of color falling off, and under her beautiful olive skin is actually like a stonish gray ashen color skin. Like, uh, think of the... Think of the stone statues that Medusa turns people into when she looks at them, Queen of the Gorgons. Sure. Under the flakes of her skin looks like that stonish, ashy Mm -hmm. statue-type material. I lean towards the boar, take like a big like whiff of like, oh, this smells so delicious. Are, Are we having boar tonight? Is that correct? We are. Your huntsman must be very... Adept indeed. He is the best in all of Ethereum. Where does he live? Ari looks. He lives at the end. Noticeably perplexed. Mm. <laughs> um, and Joga, how long have you been here in Ethereum? Mm. The relics were restored not too long ago. You're welcome. <laughs> Ethereum sprang up probably five years ago. I've been here for about two years. Mm-hmm. Sprung up. This is a pretty cool city. Yeah, Hades and Zeus did a pretty good job. So when you say sprang up, like was it built? Yeah. Okay. By the gods. Uh, what? Where do the people live? Wherever, wherever <laughs> there's room. The inn, the temple, it's, out in the woods. They just sort of out hang the out. Mountains. Sure. Beyond beyond our mansions, there's nothing but mountains. Why are there no plants in these cities? In this city. 
No, because we have plenty of plants outside of the city. Well, why not have some in here? It's <laughs> nice and stuff. I imagine Hades doesn't like greenery. But what about Zeus? Well, that's a fight between them. Mm. Mm. Um, hey, thanks for this board. This is really good. That's going to be great. Would you like to eat? Um. Oh, I've already started eating. <laughs> oh, okay. She's like, have thanks you, for the board as she's taking a large chunk have you and considered writing into it. Tenement housing or like <laughs> I have not. Apartments. Where did your huntsman um catch the spore? Outside Ethereum to the south. The woods. Is this the, the Araminthian boar? No. 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 Uh, this boar is way too small. Well, speaking of the Araminthian boar, you might know that's why we're here. I had an inkling. Um, so we're on an adventure quest. Are you? Mm-hmm. To get the boar. Oh, trials? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. You four are not the first four to go on these trials. Not the first four? There's been other foursomes? <laughs> Six sums, foursomes, <laughs> pairs, trios, yeah. Hercules. Mm, dope. Um well you know it's it's a it's it's a fun trial thing. You're making good headway? Yeah. Nice. Congrats. Um, so like we were kind of under the impression that this board was terrorizing the city by by killing the children. This this city? Mm-hmm. We don't care one way or the other. Every dead person or child is more souls for Hades. We're not too concerned about it. I lean over to Electo and I'm like, is is she like some sort of golem or something? <laughs> like What's, what is happening? Puppet. Like, how do we, wh- who's puppeting? Do I hear this conversation? How, how quiet are you? With Very her? quiet. No. <laughs> oh. Not you're, on the, you're on the, you're on the other side of the table anyway. <laughs> I now feel like I'm not crazy, but like, why are we doing? <laughs> I start staring at, at the governess like really hard. You see what Matt saw. You see the beautiful olive color of her skin. It's slowly peeling away and curling upwards and then disappearing into a burst of beautiful rainbow gold magic. She doesn't seem to be affected by it. She's sitting there smiling, enjoying the company and the food. That's and off-putting. she's getting ready to <laughs> open the drink. <laughs> Lady's face is peeling off. <laughs> I like, pick up fine. a cup and I say ambrosia into it. And she's like, I'm sorry, I don't have ambrosia. Damn. Okay, just checking. (laughs) And then she pours some of the wine into her glass, and she offers it down the table to you. I pour a little bit into my glass. Okay. I mean, be rude. Like Ari, what's wrong with your building? (laughs) And she takes a drink, and she closes her eyes, and she smiles, and she sighs contently. She's like, oh, this is the good stuff. What is this stuff made of? This wine? Yes. It's made out of the grapes of hell. From Hades's personal fields, it is quite delightful. Yep, I kind of like I take the glass and like put it to my lips and kind of tip it, but I don't actually drink anything. And as you tip the glass to your lips, it smells like paint thinner and. (laughs) (laughs) Yep, is um like imagine the most foul, not ready moonshine that your hillbilly uncle brought up from the sticks of Tennessee. It smells like pure grain alcohol, and turpentine had a bastard child. I um I look at the governess and I ask her, I say, is Hades here? No, he's probably at his noodle house. All right. Place is weird. <laughs> Maybe we should see if there's any questions she could. Where are all the children at? What? There are no children here. The boars killed them. All of them? Well, Every so, single one of them. So what's the boar eat now? Has the boar killed you? No. Okay, just no. <laughs> I mean, we may have sacrificed some of the children to the boar as well. But, yeah, I kind of feel like that's what's going but on. We, but, I mean. That's, that's not very nice. Um, Who's going to stop us? I mean, apparently no one. <laughs> it's still not very nice. <laughs> where, do you, where do you take the children in sacrifices? They're all gone now. Uh, to the mountains behind Therium, to the den of the boar. It's littered with bones and blood. It's beautiful. You'd love the sight of it. You especially. She's looking at you when she says that. Mm. Looking at Neith when she says that. All the hairs on the back of my neck <laughs> standing straight up right now. 
Um, is it is it pretty is pretty obvious going up there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, I there are signs and everything. There are fact, signs. Signs, yeah. If you go look out the window behind me, you'll be able to see the path that leads between the mountains to the to the the den of the boar. Have you gone on the trials? No, mm. not all of them. Just a few of them. Were you successful? Halfway. Which one was your favorite? My favorite trial was probably getting the girdle from the Amazon Queen. She is a freak. <laughs> <laughs> and we would love to know any tips on the on that point. She loves to drink. Okay. And she loves to she loves to screw. Surprise Pan's not with you. He would be fantastic for that trial. Oh, you know about Pan. We all know about Pan. Hmm. What does that mean, we all know about yeah, Pan? Who, you and who else? Everybody in all of the lands. You guys restored the relics. Yeah, we're the best. Yeah. Then how do you know about me? Well, I can see you. This is not your first trial. Pan keeps very excellent records of your guys's. What's the word I'm looking for? Not exploit. Something more. Adventures? No. Conquests? There we go. Conquests. <laughs> <laughs> Words. Plus, word traveled of the Battle Royale in Aspasia. So you know what I can do. Yeah, absolutely. Why has she made a stone? <laughs> um, I drink a little bit of ambrosia from my from my flask. Fantastic. Wow. And you dead as hell. Get the benefit of a full rest. It's just zombies up in Re- here. Refill, and you are no longer hungry or thirsty so, or tired. So I I prepare uh, detect magic. Sure. And I like to I like to use it kind of. On her to see if I can get a little bit more insight into what's going on. So you're using detect magic on her? Mm-hmm. Okay, so make a constitution save. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. I love your Let's shirt, by her. the way. I just noticed it's a girl cap. Oh, she's already dead. It's a, it's a dress. <gasps> I love it. Thanks. Does it have pockets? Mm-hmm. Nice. Even better. I got married in a dress with pockets. Dope. Every dress should have pockets. That's where you keep the heroin. Ooh, 21. Nice job. Thanks. The dice. Well you are yeah. momentarily blinded by the obscene amount of magic that is every single speck <laughs> of this room. You try to focus on her, but as you try to focus on her, you've seen The Matrix, right? Mm-hmm. When Neo looks at Smith after he's got the powers of the one and Smith is all glowy, but he can see the Matrix around Smith. Uh, so you can kind of see the code of the magic, but it is intense. Mm. Like it is nigh impossible to focus specifically on her. The chair you're sitting on, the table in front of you, all of the food, her, everything is magic. Every fiber of being. There doesn't look like there's any natural stone in this building. Do I notice Delsira kind of freezing or or in distress or anything? I don't know if detect magic. No, she passed her con save. So, no. You could have been paralyzed from the the blinding of the magic. (laughs) You'd be a cripple. (laughs) Um, Can you dispel magic? Hmm? Break magic? I don't think I could dispel this magic. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, that's a higher level slot than I got. Are you going to like tell anybody about it? Do we have it? any question, other questions? Yeah, but not for... here. Oh, okay. Um, okay. What, were, what was our original intention here? Just to like find out about the boar? Uh, yeah. Would anybody so. try to stop us if we try to go after the boar? No, not at all. Okay, just check it. I mean, you guys seem so keen on keep feeding this boar and giving souls to Hades, you know? Just want to make sure. It's more than one way do, to skin a cat. Do you have any advice on the boar? Blunt object. No more advice than you had already received from the goddess who sent you here to perform the t- or complete the task. She gave you pretty thorough advice. We don't have any additional tips or tricks. We don't kill the boar. We Were you there? Feed the boar. Was I there? Yeah. Personally? When she gave us no. the advice? No. Well, you guys got an information network? Yes. Huh. Yes, we do. Huh. And now we know how to get to the boar. Um, we have an appointment later with Angel. Oh, the governor? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything? Do you have any advice on? Yeah, stay away from him. Got it. Oh, he's an absolute asshole. 
Nailed it's him. not nearly as inviting and warm as I am. Yeah, you've been pretty kind to us. I've got no reason to be otherwise. Hmm. Do you get a lot of visitors? No, believe it or not, we don't get a lot of visitors. <laughs> I there. believe it. I believe it. This place hmm. is wild. <laughs> Did, did both sides get along okay? Like you, yeah, we get along just fine. Do, do you get along with, even though he's he said he's kind of a jerk man, do you get along with Angel? Yeah, I get along with him just fine. We do <laughs> co-govern the city. Hmm. He's just an asshole. <laughs> nice. As yeah. are all of the people on Zeus's side of Therium. Yeah, they're the oh. They all think they're so much better than everybody else because, you know, they're on Zeus's side of the city. They don't know how to have fun. Hmm. I like lean over to Galsira. Galsira, how does the food taste? I mean, it tastes great, but there's something... It's like normal food. Yeah, but, you know, like it's, it tastes like normal food. I don't know. I feel like... Okay, I take a little bit of whatever Galsira had taken. And it tastes like boar. Okay. Um, hey, governess. Yes. Would you like a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's the best. Sure, I'll, I'll try one. I hand her up. A and she takes it. And as she takes it, her fingertips brush against your fingertips for just a second. And you simultaneously feel icy cold, like the chill of death. And at the same time, to a normal person who isn't resistant to fire, the <laughs> blazing hot fiery pits of magma burning from a volcano simultaneously to you it's like a mild you know sunny day nice <laughs> glad it oh, was you weird <laughs> and she takes it and she eats it and she closes her eyes and she smiles and she's like oh these are delightful right where did what, you get these? What, is, what did yours taste like mine tastes like Filthy maggots Hot rotting in a corpse. Morning bread <laughs> uh, out of my grandma's kitchen with jam and butter and honey with ooh hot cocoa. Oh, these are amazing. They're really nice. That was that's very sweet. I haven't tasted anything like this in <clears throat> a couple hundred years. Wow. Where'd you get those? You live a long time, huh? I've been dead longer. Ah. I thought that might be the case. Mm. Is the is the governor also dead? Oh. Is everyone dead? Yes. Is that what's going on here? We're all dead. Yes. Oh. That's uh what's that about? Why are you all dead? Why aren't you alive? Somebody needed to appease the bloodlust of the boar? Ah. Cool. Did, where where did you where'd you come from? You Me haven't always been here. Originally? Yeah. She's thinking back. Where's your grandma call home? I can't remember. And mm. as she's sitting there trying to remember where she came from before she was here in Therium, all of the paint on the walls begins to peel upwards. Did I even really take a bath? Oh, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you, get to, you begin to hear very silent shrieks of the damned in the river Styx. Yeah. And all of the color on her body begins to peel and flake away and you are in a rotted decrepit mansion that is missing two thirds <laughs> of its roof <laughs> the oh. walls look like they've been burnt out or broken into and she is no longer a beautiful olive skinned young maiden she now looks like a frazzled hair balding on the top crone with a hunchback and missing all but four of the teeth in her mouth and she looks disheveled and absolutely 100 percent depressed oh well um you have been real helpful uh <laughs> <laughs> i think we're gonna go <laughs> And then she looks at you and she shrieks in your direction. That is a natural reaction. <laughs> and we will go into initiative. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's a good thing I had my battle with the most 27. <laughs> 
what is initiative dex? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I rolled one. I rolled so five. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least you rolled a one on initiative. Okay, like that could have been way worse. <sighs> I roll. I, you want me to roll for electo? Don't you have alert? No, you don't have alert. No, I have no. alert. Oh, okay. I rolled, yeah, roll for electo. Does rolled, she have alert? <laughs> I rolled an eight. Yes. Does what does alert mean? Plus five on your initiative. Can't be surprised. I rolled an eight. Plus eight. Plus five. Eight is your total. Plus mm-hmm. a dex. So I rolled a five. 12. I rolled an 18. I have a plus nine initiative. Nine. 12 for Electo. Boom. What was your initiative total? Eight. Eight? Mm-hmm. Eight total. Eight. <laughs> and then I had eight. five total. My party kind of sucks. My party <laughs> was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And she also has an eight. What? <laughs> Dope. <laughs> I feel like I way over rolled Ele- that initiative. Electo had 12. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got Electo at 12. Yeah, the next highest was still less than half of what I had. <laughs> Ooh, which I got to think about then what I'm going to do. <sighs> well, I just had Ambrosia, and I have a bunch of battle spells. So, hey, before you sit down, let's go, <gasps> as Matt would say, let's go, champ. What? <laughs> let's I need go, a champ. <laughs> I had a spare. I'm assuming in my I'm tray. going first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you will. Give me just a moment. Okay. I, fuck. <laughs> I need to like pull Ooh, up every fucking thing I've got. Hmm, I wonder if there's. I know what I do. Shit, I have an idea about what I'm gonna do, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, Jesus Christ! So much. Go ahead, Nice. You're first. Um, I am gonna stand up because I'm still sitting at the table, right? Yep. All right, so I have to stand up, and as I stand, ooh, how far away is she? From where you're sitting? Yeah. Probably about five feet. Like she is in a square adjacent to you. I can draw it up if you want. No, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure okay, I understood I say, how I can, long I can the table was. Like, yeah, I can draw it up. Like if I you can, want. I can stand up, take my sword out, mm-hmm. and like. Oh yeah, you're you're within melee range. I'm you're, within she's melee. One square okay. next to you. Um, is it me, Galsira, and then her, or is it Galsira, me, and then her? It is Neath, and then Electo, and then her, and then Jelly, and then Ari. Wait, is Electo on the same side as me? Nope. Electo's on the other side of the table with Ari. You and Jelly were on the side right. with two chairs. But is Galsira closer to her than no. me, or am I the closest You one? are sitting closest to her. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to basically just pull out my daggers and aim for her throat. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I'm close enough. I'm assuming she's not surprised. No, she's yeah. definitely not surprised. Nat 20. Yes. Nice. Your daggers go into her and straight through her body, right into the wood floor at her feet. And make a constitution save, please. Damn. (laughs) Because she is damned. What a waste. Right? Yeah, okay. She is spectral. (sighs) All right, what happened? Even with my magical daggers? Even with your magical daggers, she is immune. I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. Oh, damn. Figure out something. I wish I had my mug. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm watching you. <laughs> I know you not, need your mug now. Not, not get anything done. Did you roll a one? No, I'm I just saying. A two. I'm just oh, trying to darn. figure out. What, I was looking at fighter because barely know her. Nailed it. You're gonna take two d eight cold and two d eight fire damage. Damn son. Six Damn, son. Eight. Damn son. But I rolled a d twenty. Fifteen. I rolled a twenty. I should mean something. Twenty two damage. So she's. I have some tears spectral? for your cup over there. <laughs> I don't so, know how to deal with that. What did I take? How much 22. did I take? I'm imagining, Holy shit. I imagine Rico holding his mug. Like, I'm collecting tears. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought you that mug for your birthday. <laughs> I'll listen. I need to get your guys' hit points down here really quick. Fuck, man. I have a spell that might do some. Shit, how many hit points? I think do I might have? do some 119. damage. I do. I write that down so I can start I mean, whittling I've been it down. I'm trying to prepare how to do bashing damage. I can barely figure that out. Damn it, I gave her that nice wine. Now she's all ghosty. What did you take, 22? Yeah, you did. You yeah. Did Your magic daggers didn't do anything? Nope. You see me basically almost fall on my face. She is on her hands and knees with her daggers in the rotted wooding floor. Feeling very cold. I wonder if my fists were. And hot at the same to find time. Out. It's a very weird experience. A sunny day. 
It's uh, Lecto's turn. All right. Well, I think she's going to try to... Man, I don't, I'm bad at this. You're not bad at this. Um, <laughs> she has like three or four attacks, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, yeah, I just don't know if it's going to have any effect or not. Like the Vengeance Lash? Like, she, Can she try that, I guess? She absolutely can. What's it do? It's a, I don't know, it's a 2d8 plus 4 fire and uh, slashing. For what? 2d8 plus 4. For what? Damage. What kind of damage? Fire slashing. I bet radiant damage might do some damage. What's happening? I, I, I looked at fighter for a while. Barely know her. That's a nat 20. She hits and crits. The slashing damage will not do anything, but the fire damage will. Oh, okay. Dope. Now we're on to something. Dope. Dip top. Double damage. 2d8 plus 4. So that's going to be 8 fire. Neef, do you have any fire arrows, Swift? I do. It's fire time. <laughs> that was her first attack. She has others. Can she use the lash again? She sure can. Yeah, because... Yeah. Was that like action surge gives her like an extra attack? And no, she has extra attack. attacks. Oh, yeah, because she's got extra attack. Yep. Yep. Times two. Yeah. All right. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Uh, it's a dex based weapon, if I remember correctly. 18. Hits. Dope. Are you doing like average damage or? I'm doing the four fire. Oh, okay. That's what that means. Dope. And her other extra attack. We're going to lash again. We're going to just keep whipping, whipping this shit. It seems to be working okay. Whip. As long as she Whip hits, it'll continuously do, 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 do fire damage. Okay. 26 to that, hit. That hits. Nah, it does it. I actually know the worst. That's like <laughs> 26 <laughs> to hit. It hits. And then, and then, was action surge a thing that does a thing? Uh, I think action surge is for healing specifically. One additional action on top of your regular action. Oh, and a possible okay, yeah, bonus she action. can use her action surge to attack again. One more lashy lash. <laughs> yeah. Lashy lash. 19 to hit. That hits. Baby, 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 baby. 58 damage. Nailed it. All right, then after the whip going through bad. Not bad. the governess... There are wisp of fire that um, lash into her, and she turns to Electo, because it is her turn, and she shrieks at Electo with quite a vicious intensity. Um, what is Electo's AC? 17. Oh, yikes. So Electo is going to take 2d8 damage. From the shriek, the rest of you need to make a constitution save. Better better roll some ones over there, my man. There's a four. That's my lady you're trying six, to kill. Six damage right. to Electo. I, I rolled a 15. You fail. Oh, no. You were stunned. 16? You oh, fail. Damn. You were stunned. Uh, hold on a second. I yep. got to I gotta record some damage here. I got to start adding points What's to my con save. I get like those little... Yeah. Ability score increases. I because I have a plus zero on con right now. Uh, con save, we said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I am Hold stunned. Yeah, gotcha. I'm coming. Uh, yeah, twenty. It was a firefly. You save. Dope. Breath Else, weapon. I would have had to pull up my monk shit and be like, I automatically get to roll again or some shit. I it, <laughs> I think that's a thing I have. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds as bad as when you're like, no, but that's I real. That's this. real. No, that's not yeah, but you've said things like that so many times now. <laughs> no, I know. None but of us believe you. <laughs> it's I get you here. It's like I, uh, I, I cast kill governess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's oh, exactly I get proficiency in all saving throws. Okay, so that was actually uh You saved. It doesn't matter. Then you extra saved. I extra twenty five. Dope. All right. So Galsira, you are stunned. You cannot move and you can speak only falteringly. You automatically fail strength and dexterity saves. Sucks to be you and shit. I was going to do something and cool. And attack rolls against you have advantage, so right. I guess you're not casting anything this turn. How hard am I stunned? I'm trying, I'm trying to play For two characters one turn right now. Until her Same. next turn. Okay, that's not too bad. Amazing. Uh, Ari, it will be your turn. Breath weapon. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You say falteringly. Yeah. <laughs> you say falteringly. Breath <laughs> weapon. <laughs> 
Oh, make a con save for Electo. My apologies. Because she got she was the one that got shrieked at. I think her con is pretty fucking good, if I remember correctly. I think she's like we hope. base plus five. And she's proficient in con. 17? She fails. She's stunned. Wow. You're wrong. You'll have to remind what? me what that is because I'm <laughs> stunned? Gearing up. No, but not right now. Oh, okay. When, when it matters. Because <laughs> I'm not, she is, and I'm two people right now. <laughs> Poor Matt's over there. Like, okay, so I'm going to breath weapon. Sweet. I'm going to open uh, with breath weapon. Sounds good. Uh, so that's a, a dex a dex save. Oh, dex is not her proficiency being undead. She fails. What'd you get? A nine. Oh, yeah. No, you failed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, the DM, I know. 4d6. 46 damage. <laughs> And it's all fire damage, right? 46 fire Yeah, she doesn't get any of her natural <laughs> resistances against this. I had four D6s that I rolled. So it's 15 damage. That is, nice. you know, it's not terrible. Average on a D6 is three, so. Neath? Would be the average. It's not bad. Your Better turn. You can make a con save to break out of being stunned from the Banshee Shriek. You're still stunned. Awesome. Can I falteringly say an undead fuck you? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Can't I punch ghosts? You can absolutely try. Are you try. there yet? I just did breath weapon attack. Is that? Oh. Like, don't you get that? Like, isn't that a thing for monks, like, at some point? Yes. Is the empowered strikes. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I skipped you then because you have extra attacks, right? Do. My apologies. Never mind. Th that roll didn't count because Sweet! he has extra attacks. <laughs> Go ahead. Not like I thought I'd figure be I'd, better, I'd but... fly in there and try a punch real quick. Get hit, what kind hit, of punch? A, a key empowered punch. I mean, they, punch. My, my strikes It'll count have as... have a little Hello Kitty on it. <laughs> whatever for stuff. I forgot you have like three extra attacks. <laughs> you have all of the attacks you and Electo over there. <laughs> my unarmed strikes okay, count as magical Daphne for the purpose and I are, of coming are over here. resistance. It's funny. <laughs> And no magical attacks and damage. So I punchy punch. <laughs> roll make, of, like, roll of 50. Kitty stickers for his fist. I'm like thinking like those knuckles, like the brass knuckles, like Hello Kitty. Yes! <laughs> uh, 23 to hit. What do I do? A D8. As you and punch D6. into her ectoplasmic spectral form, your fists glow white with your keys <laughs> that seem to burst into mystical white fire-looking punches as they rip out chunks of her ectoplasmic self. So you do full damage with your fists. Nice. Key empowered. Let's him punch ghosts. Mm. 11 damage. Nice. Can I spend a key point to Flurry of Blows? Do you have key to spend on Flurry of Blows? Yeah. Then yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I cast How much damage did you do? 11. Pro 11 11? proton okay. pack. <laughs> Does anybody have a proton pack? If your paladin was here, he could banish mm, a motherfucker. That's right. We really need a fourth person. Or a cleric. If the we cleric was here, really they could need turn on dead. Yes. Cleric, cleric would be done with this bitch already. At your guys' level, cleric would be like, a nominee patria at filiate spirit. Is <laughs> All right. it, would, done. it would be Bye. banished back to yeah, the Bye. plane it came from. <laughs> Two unarmed strikes coming at you, motherfucker. Still all key empowered, right? Yup. It's just that's just that's just default. I swear it doesn't cost key. No, to it do doesn't that. cost anything. Just once you become a What's certain that? level, yeah, all of your twenty one that hits twenty two. Actually, I'm bad at math. That also still hits. <laughs> <laughs> that one is seventeen damage. <sighs> Time to break out my calculator. Whoa! Oh no, that I was a nat one. Break. I was tutoring somebody in math, and I had to break out a calculator. Math these, these days is fucking weird. I nat one it. You missed? Yeah, okay. nat, nat one, though, so I probably okay. punched myself in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bountiful luck. Boom! Oh, can she do that, though, because she's stunned? Nope. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, sorry for calling that out. My bad. Odds are even. Odds, baby. <laughs> Evens. Thanks for keeping the rules. Um, <laughs> roll damage on Deborah. 
You, you would have gone home and like then damage, felt bad. You would have felt really Deborah, guilty about Deborah. that. Like, oh, he shouldn't have gotten you, that. Yep. Your My, fist goes yeah, through her, her ectoplasmic form and Neith is still stunned there on her knees Shit. and you oh, yeah. put a fist right I'm to the like, back right of Neith's head. It's 12, oh. 12 damage. 12 damage. Neith takes Sorry. 12 Ow! more damage. That puts you down to 63. Does that wake me? Like, does that... Knock me back into sense at least. No, you know, not yet. I've well, I mean, I mean, it might. We're stun. gonna be back to the top of the order, and you get to make your uh, con save. So, if you're stunned, you can't move at all, right? Yes, for stunned, a stunned creature acts as is incapacitated, can't move, and can speak only falteringly. The creature automatically fails strength and dex saves, and attack rolls against you have advantage. Mm-hmm. So they get a roll twice. Mm-hmm. Well. Neath. Make a con save to see if you can shake yourself free of this stun. Bro, well. Don't forget you also guy. have luck that you can use three times a session. Um, I'm going to use luck on that. I should have used that on the Do it. On the Do it. Fail. I'm such a fucking idiot. No, no. Use luck again. Use luck. You feeling lucky? Ooh, 20. You break free of stunned. Hey. Woohoo! You can get up and try and swing at her again if you'd like. I've got proficiency on saving throws. Mm-hmm. Doesn't, and I've, I've noticed that the fire. Stunned. Have I noticed at least that the fire has been? Helping? Oh yeah, you've been watching it whiff right over your head. You've been like under and inside her simultaneously. Gross. Okay, I yell. Back up! <laughs> <laughs> Drop my fire grenade and spurt away as fast as I can. Yes. <laughs> so your action is to use a fire grenade. Yes. Okay. Yikes. So you're gonna, we have doors. You're going to drop that fire grenade to have it explode, right? Yes. Okay, you realize... I'm going to do like a little like start running and like throwing it behind me type thing. Okay, so you want to move first and yes. then use your fire grenade. Yes. Okay. I'm going to yell first, <laughs> get out of the way, move as I'm chucking it. And then throw it? Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> Roll to hit. That. I hope it works because this is my last one. Hold on, I gotta add that to the list. I need to go shopping. Good luck. There ain't shit here in the area. Oh, no, there's been... Why did we leave Aspasia? Because you had to to go after the boar. Mm. Let's go back to Aspasia when we're done. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last luck. Not much better. Um, do I get anything? Your dex? 13. You miss her. Did you back up? Did I it's back up? It's not your turn yet. You I can't. can't have backed up. Yeah, and I'm stunned. What's the uh, damage on that firebomb? <laughs> 5d6. Jelsira, you're going to take 5d6. Oof. Um, Neith, go ahead and roll damage for Jelsira. Oh, Let's see if the Wraith dodges. She does not. She is also. So roll 5d6 for Jelsira and then 5d6 on the crone. Neith, what oh, are you doing? What? <laughs> We're over a little, just. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Matt, you are resistant to fire. Every day of the week, baby. <laughs> Twice on Sundays. <laughs> Why did I roll People so say? well then? I just got to keep cracking out the the sayings, you know? How much damage does Josira take? Oh, she's still counting. Bit. Oh, no. 27. Oh, my God. 127? Neef. Neef. I was pissed off. You should have done. I'm sorry. That's my chaotic nature. Would have been better at 37. <laughs> But now I get a roll uh, for well, hitting. 5d6 for the Wraith crone. Jesus chicken. Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, landed on its side. Are you trying to kill everyone? I love it. Big I mean. Fan. Big fan. To not do as much damage to the Wraith. I didn't want to stop before the combat because then we'd have been a little short. Oh, yeah. 22. That's not bad. It's not bad, but I. <laughs> Nothing what wrong a- with a long episode. We're getting you uh, great roll, Especially after not having the last episode. 2d6 <laughs> damage against Matt. Psychological abuse. Two d six. Two d six because he's resistant fire. He takes half five. Damage. One so six. You got that. You got some emperor. He doesn't even. There. He hasn't even taken any damage yet. And then roll five d six against um, Electo. Whoops. One, four, eight, hmm. ten, fifteen, and eighteen. That's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. 18 damage. Does like the floor cave in, right? <laughs> we all just like fall. What? 
Funny that you should say that. <laughs> that what is I your deal? I have like deal? a Scooby-Doo moment in my head going Because right that now. firebomb now ignites this rotted dry wood yes. in this hollowed out mansion. Hey, chaotic neutral, okay? <laughs> and Seven. the floor does collapse oh, out no. from under the four of you. Oh, no. All of you are going to fall 12 feet. Oh, my God. You're only going to take a D10 damage. Come on. How much damage? A D10. One D10. All of us? Do we have to roll for that? Or are you no. Going? Okay. You're stunned, even if you could roll. <laughs> Can't I fly? You can fly. And I also have slow oh. fall. And you also yeah. have slow fall. Electo can also... You two are going to take <laughs> a T10 of fall damage as you there. crash to the floor under you. Jelsira, you are taking... Ooh, 10. I'm sorry, oh baby girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't been able to do anything. I mean, in fairness, I think Electo's still stunned, but oh, I would I would swoop over to try 10. to grab her. Oh, shit. <laughs> you could catch her. You're strong enough. I would do that for sure. That's definitely the guy we would do. And you are now prone and stunned on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Electo is stunned, but Ari catches her and slow falls down to the ground if he chooses or he can stay up in the air. Uh, Neath, you fall... To the ground and land on Ooh. one knee with one foot up superhero landing style. Yeah. Because you are dexterous. I am very dexterous. You take the damage, but you don't like fall prone or anything like that. Sweet. Can I telepathically talk to Cedric? No. Mm. Because you were treated as incapacitated. Okay. <laughs> and that was Nice turn. It will be Electo's what? turn. Make a con save for Electo. See if she can break the stun. I bad. I'm like, I, I oh look at you as much as I can, and I'm like, Neesh. she's proficient in con. <laughs> she's a fighter. <laughs> 29. She breaks free of her stun. She is yeah. free to take all of her attacks. And she can, you know, re roll if she failed, but she didn't, you know. All she's my luck is gone. All right. Well, she's going to she's gonna fire Lash. No, she isn't. What? For her first attack, she's going to whip around your neck Dope. for your combo fire breath. Cool. Action. All right. Should I roll then? or? Yeah. You're going to, because, well, her first attack is to combo your fire breath. Dope. Her second and third and fourth attacks, she can then take at the crone. Does she have another whip? No. Oh, so but am I going to do the fire so breath first? Yeah. And okay. then whip her. And then she will recall her whip, because it's a whip, and then she'll... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Indiana Jones this yeah. shit. Yeah. I love that. Just rolled a hit. All right. Rolled a hit. Wow, that sucked. Um, <laughs> that was bad. Don't forget you're lucky. Yeah, you're right. That's whoop. never happened. That's there was a film better. in 2009 called Whip It. What is what's oh, the what's the I modifier? Love that movie. Oh, really? It's, it's, mm-hmm. This was Dex. Elliot Page and 26. Um, That's you guys are absolutely gonna hit. Let's see if she passes her deck save. She doesn't. Julia uh, Lewis. So you were gonna. Uh, what did we? What did it go up to? Nine d six, I think. Last time you guys comboed. Yeah, nine d six fire damage. And you exude your flame breath again for a second time. Only this time it is imbued with the primordial god Hellfire for nine d six fire damage at the crone. You can. Angle it so you don't hit Jelsira or Neath. All right, I do that. Because it's <laughs> normally a cone. Yeah, we're both like smiling at <laughs> So it's him, normally like, a cone, but he can, he can aim and direct it with the help of Alexa. 17 damage. Okay. Oh, I got to break out my calculator. 96 and you got 17 damage? Oh, it was nine. Sorry. Hold on. I have. Did you only roll four? I rolled six. Sorry. Oh. Let me roll three more. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was like, that is lower than average on 9d6. A 12 more? That sounds more like Sorry. it. Sorry. Okay. My bad. No, you're My bad, good. everyone. Matt's the worst. That takes care of her first tech. Whip it, whip it, good. Go ahead. She can roll the hit. 17. Whiff. Whippity whip. What's a whip, you know? 25. Hit. Uh,. Fuck. And so you just take four. Four. Nailed it. One more time. 19. Hit. Dope. Take another four. You crazy, crazy psycho. Is the wraith like floating up in the air, like still on the second floor? No. She's down on the first floor with you all. Oh, okay. She can't do 
much damage to you guys if she's still up on the second. I mean, she could, but that's not very fair to you guys. Come to Papa. Well, then she would be in my arrow, right? <laughs> my fire arrow. If she's too close, I can't fire it. Are you, are you unstunned? Down. Yeah, I'm unstunned. Ari, not- your action was going to be that fire breath action. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't take your action. Go, Syrah. Roll to see if you can get unstunned. It's a con save, right? Con save. Get unstunned. I'm going to fail. You can do it. Stop doing that. Don't don't have that attitude. Yeah, believe in yourself. Yeah, believe. The power of toxic positive thinking. I rolled rolled a 19. And then with my con says 21. Believe in the- You are no longer stunned. Yes. Believe in the us that believes in you. (laughs) I believe in the me that believes in the us that believes in the (laughs) her that believes in the me. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm no longer stunned. Do I get an action? Yeah, you've all of us do it. You have your move um, action and where, your attack where, where action. Where is and she? Your talk action. Where is she? She is um, directly in. Okay, so you fell mm-hmm. prone. She's here. Ari and Electo are here. Neith is here. You could stand up, and she would be directly in front of you. Oh, so she's um, how many feet? How far away? In five feet of you. Okay, how far away are um, is everybody else from her? Uh, five feet. They're all within five feet. They're all in melee we can range. Take it, Galsira. Just do it. How tall? Place ha- is weird. How tall is she? Make it rage. Hunched over. She's about four foot eight. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Why not? You can you can take it, right? Nisi's ne- Galsira hesitating, and she's like, "Just do it." I'm like, "Okay." So I take out my magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant damage. I'd like to cast Sunbeam, please. Uh, this. Oh, is, what do you know? She fails her deck save. This is radiant damage, <laughs> and and uh, undead have disadvantage. Yeah, she rolled a three on her deck save. Oh, hold on a second. She rolled a six on her deck save. She's got to take the three because <laughs> she has disadvantage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So she e- rolls twice, so takes the less. Rolls, she rolls twice. She so failed her deck she, either way. She takes. So it's a five foot um, wide, sixty foot long. Beam of light. Beam of light. Yeah, I know. You use this against um, the on Butcher elephant. Basket of yeah, Aspasia. you were riding an elephant. Mm-hmm. This time it's just being jelly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she takes uh, sixty-eight radiant damage. It's like a it's like a Dragon Ball Z attack or <laughs> shit, right? It. Like, it really is. Yeah, Kamehameha. It's a Kamehameha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through a magnifying glass. <laughs> Through a magnifying glass. Sixty-eight radiant Don't damage. Never needed to use a magnifying glass. Sixty-eight damage. Mm-hmm. You heard it. She could roll 68 damage on 68. Oh, if I rolled a one. Oh, wait, no, she could. And that math doesn't try. Oh, my God. How did I just roll two ones in I a row? I love it. I love your super, <laughs> uber powerful magic that so far has done two whole damage. <laughs> Do much better. Roll better. Okay. Eight, five, eight, seven, eight, eight, five. Eight, 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 eight. Eight, oh, there we go. Eight. Okay. There you go. Eight, Fifteen. Eight, eight, Fifteen. Eight, 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 eight. Oh, I'd roll another eight. There you go. go. Eight, Twenty-three. Eight, 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 <laughs> it is not more dead than it was before. Um, oh, and then my bonus action, I like to turn into a fire elemental. Smart call. Good job. Way to be. Turn everyone into fire what elementals. What <laughs> is the radius in which you light stuff and people on fire as a fire elemental? Oh, I, I, I need to Google it. <laughs> Goggle it instead. It's this new, hot new site. Because I think don't people within melee range of you take like fire damage from the intense heat of the fire elemental, Electo and Neath, and Ari. Well, less for Ari. Less for Ari. You know, if some stupid ranger trainer had not broken my short bow, anybody within melee range, so five feet takes one d10 fire damage. <sighs> nice. Sorry. So you're doing that, right? No, you're, that's not what I'm doing that? about. Are you turning into fire elemental? Just you're absolutely it. doing that, right? Yeah, I'm do YOLO. Okay. And when do they take the the d10 fire damage as long as they're in melee range of you? Yeah. What's me- when- She said five feet. Would um, Electo be further back? So it basically, any but creature touches the elemental. Oh, touches or hits it with a melee attack. Oh, range. okay. 
So just not so so not being in proximity of you. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yep, you're all good. All right, and then the crone is going to float up into the air, and she is going to shriek down at everybody. God damn She's it. going to shriek at specifically the fire elemental. What's your AC? Ooh. Oh, I have it written down. Hold on, never mind. I have your AC written. Oh, wait, you're a fire elemental. What's your AC as a fire <laughs> elemental? It's only 13. Oh, she rolled a 16. Mm-hmm. All right, so everybody make a con save again. My dice went on top of other dice. Oh, oh. my God. They were getting randy. Oh, no. You're stunned? I'm stunned. You're stunned? 27 for Electo. She is fine. Hold on, I got to figure me out. You're going to take four damage from her sonic shriek as your fire elemental, so keep track of your fire elemental. You say four damage? Four. Okay. 2d8, and she rolled a two and a two. Well, on a scale of one to 122, I'm feeling like a 98. 24. Nice, you're you're fine. (laughs) Me and Electo, dope as shit. And that will do us for this episode of Ah! Summer Play. Ah! Uh, The Pigger! Next week, as the party continues their fight against the spectral crone of Therium. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. 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 We got a whole nother governor to fight. Oh my God. (laughs) Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewoodplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at somewoodplay. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it. <laughs>